If you think that an SUV is nothing but a plastic box on wheels, then you haven't seen the good-looking and tough designs of the past. In today's episode, we would like to continue our series covering retro models spruced up with modern technology. This time, we will cover iconic sport utility vehicles and new makes that deserve to be called beautiful regardless of the era when they were built. So, join our community of car enthusiasts by subscribing to Automotive Territory, ring the bell, and enjoy the ride. ECD Project Sweet Pea The latest ECD creation is based on the 1995 Defender 110, which was imported under the 25-year rule. The one-off build wears a Ford Brittany blue metallic finish, which is further contrasted by white. Keen eyes will also notice that the original grille is replaced with a custom Can X-Lander unit, finished in white and yellow, and protected with an ARB bull bar with a winch. The 2 plus 2 plus 4 layout interior gets the Casera porcelain all-white leather upholstery, accented with Chatham Navy and alligator inserts on the seats. New gauges from Esquire are perfectly visible behind the noble steering wheel with wood grain. ECD did not specify the performance figures, but mentioned that they used the LT4 crate engine, which means the Sweet Pea has at least 640 horsepower and 630 pound-feet of twist on deck. Alpha Motors Rex Alpha Motors electric vehicles could be years away from going into mass production, but each of their prototypes deserves to be given credit. Same goes for the Rex off-roader that can easily serve the gold standard for modern SUVs with retro-inspired designs. This adventure utility vehicle was created in collaboration with the iconic LA fashion brand Free and Easy. The Rex has a high-strength steel and lightweight thermoplastic two-door body, round headlights, four elements roof light bar, and black Rhino beadlock wheels. This EV has a theoretical range of 275 miles and will be powered by two-motor all-wheel drive system that can ensure a 6-second 0-60 sprint. The Alpha Rex has brown leather or retrocloth four-person interior with a single bench for the front passengers and a fully digital dashboard voiced via a premium sound system. Kindred Motorworks Ford Bronco Vintage Californian Kindred has assembled a team of technicians, software developers, mechanical engineers, designers, and painters. Among other things, this bunch of vintage car lovers refuses to accept the new generation of Ford Broncos and instead chooses to uplift the 1966 through 1975 makes to the 21st century standards. The Kindred Bronco is a four-wheel drive off-roader powered by the third-generation Coyote 5-liter V8 that yields 480 horses. Its gear set includes LED headlights, HydroBoost four-wheel disc brake, Dana 44 front differential, Advanced Adapters Atlas transfer case, 17-inch forged aluminum wheels, and 33-inch BF Goodrich AT tires. Kindred refinished the cabin with high-quality leather and sports-adjustable bucket seats. Additionally, they installed power windows, thumping sound system, touchscreen infotainment with wireless smartphone integration, rear-view camera, and Bluetooth. If you want us to produce more videos about cars with retro designs, then make sure to smash the like button and write a comment requesting more. We keep rolling. Overfinch Heritage Field Edition This Leeds-based company has been restoring classic Range Rovers for over 45 years. But arguably, this latest restaurant is the most sophisticated creation to date. The 1993 Range Rover LSE donor vehicle undergoes a ground-up restoration, combining the design and feel of a classic British lifestyle vehicle with modern performance. The iconic body is left intact, but Overfinch complements it with a bespoke deep emerald green finish and the company's own 16-inch alloys. The interior boasts quilted tan leather throughout, Recaro seats, handcrafted burr walnut door cards, and luxury lamps wool carpet mats. The most unique piece of the Heritage Field Edition is unveiled once you open the trunk lid. Here, you'll find a handmade walnut wood cabinet for drinks. Ironically though, the epitome of British traditional design hides an all-American powertrain. A GM source 6.2 liter V8 with 430 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. Ring Brother Chevy Blazer Bully Built in 2022, 
This is one of the four top-of-the-line products by Ring Brothers that were brought to the latest SEMA show. Based on the 1972 K5 Blazer, the Bully benefits from numerous rebuilds and upgrades that turn it into a 1200 horsepower off-roader. The model gets a new custom chassis with a Roadster shop 4 link suspension and Fox racing coilovers. Dana 44 front and 60 rear axles and Bayer 6 caliper brakes with 15 and 14 inch discs. The engine is the LS 6.8 liter V8 supplied by Wegener Motorsport and fitted with a 2.9 Whipple supercharger. It is paired with a 4-speed automatic gearbox from Baller and true 4-wheel drive system. Exterior-wise, the SUV remains quite similar to the original, but gets a new lighter hood and carbon fiber fender flares. The wheels are sourced from HRE and are fitted with BF Goodrich off-road tires. Icon Toyota FJ43 the rise to fame of California's Icon 4x4 can be traced back to 2000s, when the founder Jonathan Ward began direct cooperation with Toyota. One of their first restorations was a rare version of the Land Cruiser, exclusively made for the Brazilian market between 1968 and 2001. 20 years later, Icon has reacquired such a Toyota Bandurant and gave it a proper spruce up. The retro off-roader is built on a stretched FJ40 chassis. Its new power core is a mighty 420 horsepower 5.7 liter V8 sourced from General Motors. The FJ Cruiser 43 rides on forged aluminum volcanic finished wheels and overhauled axles. Plus, it features an upgraded front sway bar and steel brakes. The interior preserved the original 1983 dashboard and a vintage climate control, while the sheets were upholstered with carbon fiber sheet heat laminated to top grain leather. Technic Q40 Defender To commemorate the 40th anniversary of the twin rotor Chinook serving in the Royal Air Force, the automotive specialists from Technic have rebuilt a bespoke Defender 110. The one-off vehicle was commissioned for the auction to raise money for the RAF Association's welfare work. The exterior bodywork of the Technic Q40 Defender has been hand-finished in complementing shades of gloss and matte dark green. Lightweight carbon fiber was used for the custom design grille wheel arch extensions, bonnet and fender vents. The Q40 Defender features a Mustang-derived 307 horsepower Ford EcoBoost 2.3-liter turbo engine, coupled to an upgraded 6-speed automatic transmission. Ride and handling have been enhanced with new brakes, programmable dampers, upgraded anti-roll bars, and lowered coil springs. The interior is upholstered in hand-stitched leather with sheepskin inserts. There is a newly designed steering wheel, instrument cluster, and center console. Monroe EV Scotland's wild and dramatic landscape have inspired the local startup Munro to create a rugged 4x4 that ignores modern standards for aerodynamics and instead goes for the old-school squared-off shape. The latest design of the Mark I resembles a military vehicle with quad LED headlights, U-pole Raptor paint protection, and an indestructible chassis. The latter features front and rear rigid beam axles with a lockable differential, coil sprung suspension with shock absorbers, and maximum clearance of 19 inches. Being an electric startup, the Monroe EV is powered by a 295 horsepower motor with a permanent mechanical four-wheel drive and two-speed central transfer case with locking differential. Unfortunately, given the 5500 curb weight, the range is restricted to 141 miles. The Spartan interior has a climate control with a heat pump, a tiny infotainment, and a retro three-spoke steering wheel. Gateway Bronco Lux GT EV As you can guess from the name of this Illinois company, its specialty is restoring and modifying original Ford Bronco SUVs. In this case, the build starts as a 1972 two-door model that gets transformed into a compact pickup and abandons its six-cylinder engine in favor of an electric drivetrain. The power comes from an electric motor that produces 400 horses and comes paired with a five-speed manual or automatic gearbox, four-wheel drive, and Tesla batteries. The model gets two capabilities, good for 200 or 300 miles of driving. Being the top-of-the-line edition offered by the company, the Lux GT EV sits on a new, powder-coated chassis with a custom J-Ride suspension and JRI shocks, gets wheel with disc brakes, and rolls on 18-inch wheels wrapped in 33-inch Toyo tires. Lastly, 
The cabin of this Bronco was revitalized with new heated and coiled seats, Porsche leather upholstery, and contemporary multimedia with Apple CarPlay. Arconic Jupiter 110 For 15 years, the UK-based restoration specialist Arconic specialized exclusively in rebuilding, modifying, and customizing vintage Land Rover Defenders. This build is based on the 1984 110, restored and modernized per customer spec. The Jupiter keeps the OEM sunroof, hood, and grille, rides on 16-inch steel wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich tires, and offer modern LED lighting. The SUV also gets fitted with an Arconic, A-Bar, and Baja Designs LED spotlights, Solar Hole Heritage badging, and a new roof rack from Front Runner. The suspension is improved with Fox 2.0 shocks, while the original Rover V8 engine and 5-speed manual transmission are fully rebuilt and reconditioned. Finally, Arconic paid special attention to the interior of the Jupiter. It seats 8, comes wrapped in vintage thatch brown leather, and gets standard AC, LED lights, and Pioneer touchscreen with Apple CarPlay. What is your favorite SUV of the past? Would you agree that modern designs are losing the soul of pure automotive designs? We will be discussing this matter in the comment section. Before you go, ensure the constant flow of content covering retro cars by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. We will see you soon, and until then, may the torque be with you.